to Adobe Live. How's it going? It's going. It's going. It's a Monday. <laughs> I know. It's a great day to do some fun editing. In this yes. I'm so excited. Yes. Got my Tiger King mug with Amazing. my coffee ready my to go. Coffee mug. Love it. <laughs> Perfect. It's I like love massive. it. <laughs> well, thank you uh, so much to everyone who is joining us. I am Ellie. I'm Arabella. And we are Weekend Creative. We are a commercial photography duo in San Jose, California. I do art direction and production, and Arabella does photography and post-production. So we kind of just tag team throughout our process. <laughs> and today is a really fun episode. We are going to talk about some images that we created for Adobe's new zine called Half Page. And so we're going to share a little bit about our process, how we came up with the concept, for our specific spread and um, how we shot it. And then Arabella is going to dive into the editing. So say hello in the chat and let yeah. us know where you guys are watching from. For some reason, the Behance chat is not loading for me. Oh no! Um, I know I have you YouTube up. It. I know I'm refreshing it now. I don't know what is going on. Um, <laughs> YouTube is working fine. So um, we have Wade and Debbie over there. Oh, thank you for joining amazing. us. Thank you. Um, yeah, Debbie says weekend creative, a little confusing. I know it is a Monday, um, but we don't work <laughs> on the weekends anymore. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, uh, cool. Yeah. Well, let's just get right into it. Let's yeah? do it. Let's so do we've it. We've got a fun stream. Like Ellie mentioned, um, we had the privilege of doing a wonderful magazine spread for, uh, Adobe's zine called half page. And mm -hmm. here's how we're going to be showing you how we go from this uh to this beautiful <laughs> so, <there we> go. <laughs> yeah of course um so essentially we've got this beautiful image um and we're going to talk a little bit about the concept real quick so let me just go back to adobe express another amazing tool you guys you have to get on this yes great for creating decks great for putting all of your inspiration or your mock-ups your ideas all of that. So I'll let Ellie take it over with uh, all the deets. <laughs> yeah. So this is a mock-up that I made for this concept. So the theme of this issue was um, wave. What was it? Making waves. Yes. Making waves. Um, making waves. And so when we were talking about what we wanted to do, we didn't want to do something with water because we felt like that was kind of the <laughs> obvious thing that everyone would think of when you think of making waves. And we wanted to do something kind of different than that. And we did an interview with Andrew Hawkrattle and we were kind of talking about our journey in photography and business. And some of the things we went through, we started our business in 2019. 2018. 2018. Technically 2017, but officially 2018. Thank you. So <laughs> a couple years before the pandemic, um, we got our first studio in 2019. So that's where that number is coming from. Yes. <laughs> but we, um, so we started our business and, you know, things were going great. It was awesome. And then COVID <laughs> hit and, you know, we had to pivot a lot of things. And then even coming out of the pandemic, we're having to pivot and now kind of in a new phase um, where the economy is different and everything, we're pivoting again. And so we were just kind of talking about like what it looks like to ride kind of the shock waves mm -hmm. of something that was so massive and affected everyone. And kind of, yeah, just kind of sharing about our journey with that. So we decided to create something around the idea of shock waves. So we decided Almost to like have an earthquake, <laughs> like an earthquake. Yeah. Which being in California, we're very familiar with. <laughs> yes. And so we decided to have all of, um, we decided to do kind of a series of images. So the first mm -hmm. image would have um, all of this monochrome glassware and vegetables, kind of just like a, um, like just a fun, like monochrome dinner scene. Mm -hmm. And then there would be a hand coming in with a hammer um, about to smash everything. And there then the second, <laughs> the second image would be um, everything kind of smashed and destroyed except for one flower in a vase in the middle. So we had to shoot this in phases and <laughs> we did smash all of the glass ourselves. Yep. It was really fun. And it was fun for us because we got to do something more conceptual versus a lot of times we're working with commercial clients and you can have concepts, but they still kind of have to kind of fit whatever the um, the client is wanting. So here's a little video of us shot from above. We'll post <laughs> another video on our Instagram of the full behind the scenes. This was kind of like our little sneak peek. 
So, um, yeah, you know, we had to keep in mind leaving space for text and space for the story. And um, we ended up shooting more images than just the two. We ended up shooting a whole series. And yeah. um, I feel like that's really useful for editorial work, too, because sometimes, um, you know, you need additional images to kind of tell yeah. the story. You don't know and how long the spread might be. So, you know, might need like additional exactly. images to kind of surround the, the exactly. Story. Yeah. And Debbie says, oh, all done in camera. I thought it was AI. Yes. we. So that first mock-up that Arabella mm -hmm. showed, that was done using Firefly and Illustrator. Um, I used both of them for yeah. for that. So, so that good. was <laughs> to kind of show what the image was going to look like. And then um, the actual photo was done um, mm -hmm. in camera and then edited. Did you using... use structure reference as well for this? Yeah. Um... So in Firefly, I used structure reference. So for example, the hand with the hammer, mm -hmm. um, I was trying to generate that and it wasn't looking how I wanted. And so <laughs> I took a picture of my hand with the hammer and I used structure reference to create that in Firefly. So, so fun. Um, and then, fun. yeah, feel free to ask additional questions about it. If you have them, I'm going to pull up Behance on my phone and see if that will work better. Amazing. Thank um, you. and let's see. Cool. Yes. Okay. This is working better. So we have Alessandra, <laughs> Oliver, Joshua. I don't know why on my, on our laptop, it's just, it's not working. It's just not working. All right. Robert. Oops run with it <laughs> we're running with it uma corn thank you for being here Aww. and we're gonna hop over to um to some editing now yeah. and if you have additional questions please feel free to ask them as we go along so obviously these are kind of like the final edited images and kind of like ellie mentioned we have all these like extra kind of uh like images that surround and tell more of the story but i'll just be working primarily with these two to kind of get to you know, our desired results. So uh, let me go ahead and remove that label there. So this is actually really the the like original photo here as far as like everything set. And then we've got the hand um, with the hammer. And then we have the image that is the after everything has been smashed and it's just the lone, um, the lone flower. So very, <laughs> very symbolic, very, uh, you know, conceptual and we love it. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through how I edit one of the images. Uh, and this is this would be like the post shockwave. So that would be this image here. But I'm going to bring in the hammer still because I do want that to feel like, oh, we just smashed it. And now it's <laughs> like, you know, uh, everything is broken. So but uh, I'll just go through kind of like how I typically typically like to edit these things. Um, and then if we have some time, maybe we'll make a little GIF. Uh, yes. That would be really fun. So let's see if I can make it happen in an, <laughs> less than an hour. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's just go ahead and grab all of our assets. Um, and again, I've already gone in here to kind of um, fix the color temperature. We use like a gray card or some kind of color corrector um, to, you know, grab our eyedropper tool, select the gray, and that way we get our own custom temperature and tint um, that we can apply to all the other images. So I've already gone uh, through that. Otherwise, they would look very much cooler and the lens distortion would be there as well. But I am just going to breeze through this. I'm going to go ahead and grab this plate and then I'm going to grab the plate that's with the hammer and the hand, Ellie's hand. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to grab as well the post shockwave photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit in and open as layers in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and open that up. It's going to keep going. You can tell we've been working on some other fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie says, virtually monochromatic. Might have been more interesting with one object in a contrasting color that Ooh. is not broken. So yeah, there is some green in there. Um, So that kind of, which we debated, should we leave the green? We could have taken off those stems of the radishes and of the tomatoes, but we loved the green with the red. Yeah. Um, just those like little pops of color. And yeah, you'll see once the you see the broken shot, I think... The red, like, there you go. I think the red is really stunning. It's um, so stunning. And I feel like the red kind of also fit with, like, the symbolism that we were going mm -hmm. for. But, yeah, I agree. It could have been fun to have something contrasting in there as well. I think, oh, you yeah. know, you can take this so many different directions all about what you're trying to communicate. And there's one more image, actually, that I wanted to get. And I think it's going to be this one. That's right. Okay. Because I also – so we had – the two different um, forks and we didn't have an extra dark mm, fork. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, I need to That's make right. sure 
that I switched this <laughs> and we did it last minute. So I'm going to just go ahead and open that up and then paste it into the other image as well. That's right. We so, only had one. We um, only had the one. Fork. I know. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and command A, select that entire thing, copy it, and then I'm going to paste it onto this image as well. Perfect. Now we've got all of them. So the reason that I put these all together uh, is because I... If I if like I'm gonna be working with the same image, and if I know that I'm ahead of time that I'm gonna be making a GIF out of it, then I like to place them all and adjust them all at once. And then, as I'm editing them, I can always duplicate the entire image and separate it by yeah. Them. So yeah, um, it's good to have everything like even and every you know uh, put together on the same um, file. So I think it was okay. So that's the hand one. So I'm just gonna put. Uh, hand with hammer and then this is our post shockwave mm -hmm. you guys it's always good to <laughs> name layers your layers pre shockwave and then we've got our post as well this mm -hmm. one's the one that goes with this one i'm actually and while i'm here while i'm at it i might even just because it's in the same plane already. So I can even just take a little layer mask here. And then I'm going to press Command I to invert the, the layer mask. And then what I can do is I can just start brushing in that little oop. Make sure that you have your white foreground color. <laughs> and then I have just a nice uh, brush here. Let me just make sure that 100%. And then there we go. Now we can get brush that in it there. in. Just brushing it in. So we had put the other fork in there just so you knew mm -hmm. where it was going to be. Exactly. So we could remember. Exactly. Perfect. Look how easy that was. Beautiful. And honestly, I don't really even need to worry about keeping that layer. I'm just going to yeah. put it right down because we are going. <laughs> let's go. Okay. Let's see. So then we've got the pre. And then again, I would probably go ahead and do the same thing for this one since that's its own image, but I'm not going to worry about that one because we're not editing that one. <laughs> so, okay. So now we've got all of our images here together and I'm going to go ahead and just select them all and I'm going to edit and auto align layers just in case there's something that's like a little funky. I, you know, it'll just like put it all together in the right space. And you can tell that it worked because there's always like a little bit of like transparency on the side. <laughs> so I'm okay with that. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is, so let's see, I'm going to switch this so that the post is after. Um, so the other thing that I want to do is I'm going to uh, crop this to a four by five. And I'm also gonna uh, level it out as well. So I, this thing is like right where I want it to see something. So I'm gonna move that for a second. And I'm gonna use that straighten tool and I'm just gonna go across and using the table that we have in the back, just gonna <laughs> kind of fix that. But even Beautiful. then it actually still feels like it's a little bit crooked. So I'm actually gonna use the vase as my kind of guide. And there we go. That actually nice. looks so much better. Okay, that looks great. great. Yeah. That so looks much easier awesome. than doing it just with your eyes. Oh my gosh. I know. Like, why would you, why would you struggle? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Amazing. This looks awesome. So now that, I mean, there really isn't a lot that you have to do. I mean, at this point, I'm just going to do a little content aware fill and it just does it automatically. It's Amazing. Great. And I'm going to press okay. Looks great. And then obviously, because there's all these other layers too that I'm going to be doing, th that's one thing to like, you can fix one image and then you can literally just copy and then turn that off and then paste. And then now you have that as well and you can like merge it down, but Beautiful. obviously you don't have to worry about that for that one. But okay, so we've got our post shockwave and now we want to bring in our hammer, right? So we have, <laughs> let's see. Okay, so the other thing too with this one is, ooh, okay, so now I know what I did wrong. So good thing, good thing I caught myself. Okay, so because I already went in to crop our image four by five, I don't have the rest of our hand here from like oh, if I wanted to move. Mm -hmm. So this is a good opportunity to show you guys how you can, you know, all you have to do really is just go back in and open the same image. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to edit 
in Adobe Photoshop and have it bring it up. And then there we go. So now what we can do is, again, you so many ways to do this, but just uh, be aware that if you are going to be cropping something, make sure that you have in the crop section, you have the um, do, uh, delete pixels unchecked because mm -hmm. then you can kind of keep everything where it is. But yeah. Okay. So let's go back to that one image and I'm just going to see if maybe with the um, object selection tool, if it'll, if it'll, it'll select just know. it. This is going to be an interesting one because there's yeah, so much red. Yeah, because it's red on red. Yeah. Exactly. So I might need to just like clean it up anyway, but you know what? We can, we could just do a let's little bit. See. Let's see. Let's see how you know? good it is. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's actually not that bad. Look at that. That's great. Good job, yeah, Adobe. That's awesome. Okay, great. That's so there's a, a couple little things, but that's like nothing, you know, that's an easy fix. So I'm going to go in with my polygonal lasso tool, make sure that your add to selection is selected. And I'm just going to fix those like edges there where I can see that it's missing a little bit. Okay. And then going around, making sure that all of this glove is selected. Now, normally I'd be like a little bit more <laughs> taking my time with this, but <laughs> right now we're, we're on a roll. So <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. Thank you for joining us, Barbara. And Aww. if you missed the beginning of the stream, you can always go back and watch the replay that's later. Right. It will be available for you, which is the magic of Adobe live. But Arabella is editing an image that we shot for Adobe's new zine called half page. And it was a really fun project. And it was I'm a so really excited fun project. that we get to share it with you guys. And they're all the people that are being featured in there as far as their work are all like it was meant to be a like, you know, for International Women's Day Women's yes. Month. So it's just like all female creatives that are a part of it. And it's yes. always awesome. So Yeah. It was it's really cool to see everyone who was featured in it. I feel really honored to be a part yeah. of it with all of I mean that everyone is so talented I and um, I can't wait for you guys to see the finished product it's really really beautiful Andrew did a great job oh I know go follow Andrew because he's awesome too <laughs> yes okay cool I think I'm pretty much there so now just to kind of refine some details I can always click on my contextual taskbar and select select and mask and there we go. So now I do want to kind of like smooth out my selection here. And actually, I'm realizing that I even missed a little bit, a little sliver there, mm -hmm. which is good. That's why you can, this is good to see like yes. what you're missing here. Okay. Just going to add that right in. Amazing. Beautiful. And then smooth it out even a little bit more. Okay. That looks awesome. I'm going to press OK. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press copy. And I'm going to go back to my image here, the first one that I was working on. And I'm going to, now I have this all on its own, which is great. Your my hand floating so hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, amazing. Also, oh my God, my cat wants to do a cameo, so I'm going to push it away. <laughs> oh, is it coffee? No, it's actually Opal. <laughs> Hi, Opal. Uh, sometimes she'll want to come on my actual desk and I'm like, oh, I'm Lady, she knows she away. wants to be a star she wants to be a star she's, she's a diva <laughs> i feel like she's made for tv you know she's just yes. she really should have her own uh her own instagram or something yes <laughs> opal okay so this is what's great is that like we can now just adjust right so if i had done it with this right like all i would have done is just apply a layer mask you know or uh selected my you know all of it the hand and the hammer and then just put a layer mask and then it would be floating as well but there there it's kind of nice that you have this as well already separated yeah so then you can just adjust and decide where you where you want it right so i think this feels pretty good right here i mean this fills in the space like perfectly right there now that looks great okay cool so i'm just gonna i'm gonna just remove that hand <laughs> <laughs> hammer hand and now we've got our base here. So I'm going to just go ahead and uh, select everything, copy merge, which is a command shift C, and then paste for like our base kind of like clean layer. Um, so I'm just going to call it clean. And now let's just get to work, you guys. There's like a lot of little things here. And I'm going to use some generative fill to kind of like clean things up. So if you look at this, this is so distracting. <laughs> 
I we like applied so shiny. some like we applied what is it some oil to make something shiny and I think we only placed it on certain parts because of where it was before. Yeah. And, and when we laid it down, it was like, oh, that some of it got cool. rubbed off. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's dropping uh the little cat emoji with the heart eyes into the Aww. chat. Do you guys want to see Opal? I don't know if I want to see. <laughs> She's like begging to get on. Oh, oh I know. This poor girl. <gasps> Um, maybe she'll do a cameo and you guys won't even, you know, it'll just be out there. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I mean, so, so for sure that this bell pepper needs to like, you know, get fixed here. So I'm going to just take my, um, polygonal lasso tool and see what happens if I just, uh, grab this whole thing here and have it fix what is going on. <laughs> <laughs> See so, if Photoshop can take care of that. For the win. I know. Let's see. Seriously, let's see. Come on, Jen, Bill. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Tell us, show us the money. <laughs> show us the money. Oh, no. Oh, hey, oh that one's bad. good. That one's really yeah. good. Ooh, oh, I like this one the best. That looks okay, that's pretty really real. Good. Yeah, I can generate this even one more time and see if there's like a better option. Sometimes on the second generation, it actually does a better job. But yeah. other times it's good on the first one too. So it really just depends. But even like, okay, well, that one's kind of a little funky, but oh, that's not bad. That's not um, bad. I could fix this. Oh, like I could just there. do another little. I feel like it's still a little shiny or it like is. a little. Oh, I don't mind that. I mean, that one's good. Because then what I can do is just bring it down, merge it down, and then grab this, change from, yeah, do a patch tool and kind of just go out. Yeah. Well, okay, maybe not that. Oh, not like that. <laughs> but let me go in here a little bit. Um, something like, let's see. Okay, yeah, that looks better. Something like that. Mm -hmm. It's a little, a little funky, but you know, you can kind of make it work. And then just kind of grab this with the patch tool and just kind of fix that. Joshua says, we love all of the cats and all of the dogs. Oh, <laughs> okay. That yeah. looks better. And yeah, then that I looks can just kind of clean some of these little spots here. The ones that look like it's very obviously repeated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and Robbie says, watching from Kenya. Oh Welcome. Gosh, stop. That's so cool. I love That's Adobe amazing. Live because it's just such an international community and it's so Aww. fun. Oh, Katrina. Hi, Katrina. She says wizardry. Wizardry. I mean, <laughs> look, with the with these tools these days, I am just, I am a wizard. I'm going to Hogwarts tomorrow. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. This is a little distracting to me. So I'm just going to be like, Jen, Phil, generate. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like the sharpness of this side, but I'm like, this looks funky to me. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. You know, For oh, sure. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Like amazing uh. <laughs> and then there's like a few other things that I could always like go in and, and adjust but honestly I kind of like the chaoticness of some of the some of the things it so, fits honestly, the mood because the mood, the mood is chaotic the mood is chaotic and I feel like that's really all we need to do that was all the, the only thing that was distracting me was really just this yeah um and then I can obviously go in and do some more um clean up clean up as far as you know little remove tool spot healing brush tool kind of all of that in in there but honestly I think I'm just gonna leave it because I like it um I think that's that's pretty good uh let's see oops and I meant to put that down so always make sure to, um, you know, merge down your generative fills before you keep working, or you can always duplicate your clean layer and have your generative fills on like its own layer as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I'm okay with just merging it down. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So, um, that looks amazing. Love it. And of course you can keep on moving, keep, keep on, you know, generating if you're not happy with results and, and, and yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. So let's go ahead and do our next thing, which I'm going to just do a little dodging and burning here. So I already have like, I have this thing here. It's like a little panel that helps me just like do set up my dodge and burn curves. But if you don't know how to do it, basically all you do is you do a layer, new adjustment layer, and you do curves and that's going to be your first one. So this one's going to be like your, your, um, dodging. And then all you do is click on that layer mask, Command-I, to invert it. And then you're going to do another one. 
And actually, I'm just going to duplicate that. And then I'm going to call that one burn. And I'm going to go back into that. Um, I'm going to disable the layer mask just for a second. Go back into that layer properties. And then I'm just going to bring it down. There we go. And then I'm going to label the layer, enable the layer mask. And then now you've got your dodge and burn. So you can put that into a group. And I love this. I love doing this for these for this image because it was so much fun. It felt like very painterly, like you're just yes. kind of like going in. And the key, the trick here is to work with a pretty small opacity and a soft brush, I feel like, and kind of just like work your way up. Like you can always like continue like, you know, adding. Um, and basically you want to kind of like use your highlights as a guide when you're dodging and use mm -hmm. your darks when you are, you know, brightening. Burning. Yeah. Or burning. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yes. So I'm kind of just going in. I love kind of like how the light is looking mm -hmm. around the face, the glass. It looks gorgeous. I'm going to go in over here at the bottom on the ground, kind of on these bright areas. And, you know, I kind of go in, I can zoom in and get in real close as well. You know, all this like beautiful glass that's like reflecting on the ground all these highlights on, you know, the vegetables. It just looks so pretty. I love it. It's really making it pop. Really making it pop, you know, just got to do it. <laughs> Joshua says, it's interesting that Jen Phil sometimes feels like it's reading your mind. I it know. literally does. And it's kind of crazy. It is and really then, crazy. And then Katrina says, what are the odds y'all had a red hammer? Prop queens. <laughs> We did order this on Amazon, yes, I will did. say, and the red glove too. But I wouldn't be surprised. We have some very random stuff very in our random collection. Stuff. We did get rid of a lot of our random stuff when we moved and downsized to a small yes, space. Yes, but we still have some weird stuff. Totally. <laughs> we're like, maybe this will come in handy someday. You never know. I know you just never know. And actually, the other day we did a shoot and uh, for a client, and we actually used an item that we have held on. Yeah, for, like years. it was like this iridescent plastic, like, like kind of. I don't even know what it was like. What it would be called, but it was like a transparent iridescent kind of rubbery yeah. material. And yeah, we ended up using that, and I think we've had that for like four or five years and never used it, but. It came in handy. It was it worth came in handy this it time. was worth saving. Yeah, it really was. I was happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm uh, almost done here, you guys. I mean, obviously, like you can forever. This can take forever if you really want to. You just to keep do. going and going. You just keep going. But I'm just gonna, you know, speed edit here just because we got things to do. Oh yeah. Um, okay, let's move on to burn and let's kind of take care of and I don't wanna do like too much, you know, I kind of like just a little bit just in the darker areas here you know to kind of like contrast the the areas that i've already dodged you know so just kind of going in here and yeah let me know if you guys do some dodging and burning in your images you guys i know there's mm -hmm. so many different ways i mean you didn't you might not even have to do this you could just literally use levels and curves and like call yeah. it a day yeah <laughs> you know and just adjust the little um, sliders here and there, but mm -hmm. yeah, tell us what way works for you. I feel like I'm always interested in, in, in seeing other people's process. And honestly, our process has changed so yeah. much, um, already, like even in the past couple of years, I've done more, like this is, this whole new situation is something I've been doing more lately. Um, but yeah, I mean, and, and the great part about stuff like this, where it's like more conceptual and it's like you get to play is that then I get to play with editing too and, yes. and kind of try different techniques. I actually, um, if you guys are familiar, I'm sure you're familiar with Paul Tranny. He did, um, mm -hmm. he showed on his Instagram recently, like a really cool technique, which is HDR toning, which I've actually done, but only in Lightroom. Like I've only applied it in Lightroom, Yeah, but it was actually a really cool thing. I might even show it for this one. Cause I mean, Let's why not show it? Yeah, it's really, really cool. Um, okay, cool. I feel like that's pretty good. So if I go ahead and turn that off, look at the difference that that made. Like it's, I, I mean, I can see it very clearly. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I can, can see, see it. it. Yeah. So if I turn that yeah. off and then this is on, oh, like yeah. it just adds like a little extra something, which is awesome. So, okay. So let's go ahead and just duplicate this layer, the clean one, and we're going to call it sharpen. 
So we're going to go ahead and put other high pass and uh, this is our favorite kind of like sharpening method. So I always like to do something like 1.8 um, and press OK. Now we change and you could see like all of it. Do you see all the like craziness yeah. that we did? Yeah. Like that's insane. <laughs> so then we go ahead and change it to linear light and, you know, we can drop it down a little bit if we think it's a little too, too much, but that feels good. Now, the other thing that I had done for this image, I think, was I actually did apply a whole levels layer to like the whole entire image. I feel like it needed to be brightened up. So something more like like something like this, I feel like, you know, just got just could brighten it up a little bit. We can always push the the contrast a little bit by bringing the, the darks over here in a little bit. And then the other thing that I wanted to do is add an adjustment layer, a hue saturation, uh, because I do want this to be I played around. I mean, I love the red how it is now, but then I was like, oh, like maybe we want it to be like a little bit more orangey red. I don't know. You yeah. know, just kind of like play with the with the colors here. So uh, let's just go ahead and play. So I have like the reds here. I'm going to just increase that by two uh, and then maybe I'll increase that by five. And I think we'll so that fun. There. I feel like yeah. that it just. Yeah. It just adds something. I mean, it like, adds something. Yeah, I know. But it's just like, it's so subtle, but it is there. It's like, yep, it's crazy. Yep. And then I also went into the yellows as well. And I did a little minus two on this one. And you guys, I had to write these down beforehand because I was like, if not, I'm not going to remember how I did like, this. What did I do? <laughs> like, what did I do? <laughs> the other thing that I wanted to do for this one is greens because we do have some pops of green. In yes. Too. And we love the green. Yes. And I wanted it to look more, less like blue green and more actual green. So yeah, I pulled it all yeah. the way over and then I increased the saturation by like 20. Maybe I'll even do more. Maybe like 30. That's fine. I think. Okay. Great. So then I turn this off, turn it back on. And now we've got like such a like bright cherry red, orangey red. I love it. It's like super fun. Yeah. Okay. So now the other trick that I, the, um, the one that I, um, that Paul Trandy did on his Instagram. So basically, essentially what you're doing is, um, let me go ahead and remove these images cause we don't really need them anymore. Um, okay. Great. So essentially what you're going to do is you're going to take your image, you're going to duplicate and have it on a whole separate image. So this is completely okay. separate. So now I'm going to flatten this whole entire image. I know, scary. You're like getting rid of all Terrifying. Work, but that's why we have this one. <laughs> yes. So this is- We have a backup. Need. You have a backup. So I, and so I have kind of like developed my own little, like, like applying different things just to like see what the results are. But you essentially go over to image, then you go over to uh, adjustments and then HDR toning. Okay. So- it says it'll flatten the document. We've already done it. So we're like, we're good. P press yes. So now it's got all these like really crazy presets that you're like, what is even happening? Right. Wow. I Which know. could be it's a really like, fun effect for certain well, images. Exactly. Well, and this yeah. isn't even the actual effect. Like you would take this, essentially you'd copy yeah. the layer and you'd put, paste it onto the original and you change the blending mode to kind of like oh, come up with different effects. Yes. That's what I've been playing around with. At, like, How he shared, fun. He okay. Like, just applying one and then changing the blending mode but then yeah. I was like okay what if we like did a few different combinations so you guys I like cre created my own I called one <laughs> the oomph and I called one the grit <laughs> I love this so you could see you can save your own so you presets your own. So basically, basically in like, this I I think I picked like maybe it was like Scott five or so, no actually I think I picked like monochromatic low con no not that one where is it photorealistic low contrast I think is the one that I did and then okay I just, like, and then you adjusted it, it. Yeah, yeah, adjusted it yeah 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 what you can do is you can do this little um, ah. right here and then you save the preset and then you name it and now you've got a thing that is so, so fun. I've been kind of playing around with flat like I liked flat because it kind of brightens things up mm -hmm. I think we already have it pretty like brightened up so I don't think we need that but then I have like the oomph so this is this <laughs> looks crazy I know um, but watch it like, but honestly, like it. sometimes you, that is like, that would be cool for some things, you know? Right? Yeah. And then once you change the blending mode, once you add like all the things, you know, um, then you can kind of play around with it. So I think I had done like, I might've done like a hard light or soft light, but then I brought back the opacity, Okay. Or like the fill, you know? So like you yeah, kind of yeah, play yeah. around with different things. So like, I'm going to just like, I love it. Like 40% or something. 
and then just kind of see what happens when I like go over certain um ooh that lighten is like actually really cool too oh wow I like, love look at how fun like I love wanted that, that kind of effect that's more like it makes it look fake like kind of really but in a good grungy, way like yeah you know yeah yeah, yeah. Or even like that. Yeah. Honestly, I kind of I, I kind of like the color dodge. That's kind of like a fun, like weird thing for some reason. I like it. I'm into it. But yeah, so different things like that. And then, of course, they have even like other things. So, for example, like if I were to go back in. So that's the other thing. You'd have to kind of like retrace your steps and then yeah. do it all over again. So you can go into HDR toning. And then I have, again, kind of like my own preset that I did, the grit, which I think stemmed from um i think it was the monochromatic one like high contrast or low okay. contrast or something oh that's so fun or maybe it was i don't even remember it was you guys like i just kind of played around and went like ham whoa <laughs> yeah so there's so many and yeah i ended up here so okay. Like, okay okay which is kind of like our like our um high pass sharpening method but just like on like steroids i think <laughs> yeah yeah wade says it could act as a filter effect for exactly sure. yeah. exactly so then i'm just copying it i'm pasting it and then i can do kind of like a soft light and then bring and it, it is down. gritty it's so gritty so you can really push it now it looks like extra like extra extra which is insane um and then yeah i mean like you could really just go crazy with all the different um you know all the different things. So honestly, so that looks really fun. Like super cool. So, but anyway, that's that's kind of I hadn't done that for this particular image, but I just wanted to yeah. show you guys that I did that. Um, that I learned that recently. So definitely go try it and just play around and it's super fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Uh let's go ahead and save it here. And then I'm gonna call it Adobe Live 2. And I'm gonna press OK. So now, uh, essentially what I'm going to do is going to get, it's going to get saved and I'm going to bring it up in Lightroom. Now, normally I'd like actually save it, but because I already have an image that's already saved in, in there, like with that exact, uh, naming, uh, I'm yeah. not going to mess with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So while it saves, I will, let's see. Sometimes it takes a little bit. It's such a liar. It's not a 99%. It's not. It's, it's not. Never, it's never <laughs> 99%. It wants to give you hope. It really does. So it's like, I'm almost there, but I'm not. The, the last one percent is actually like 70% of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it actually worked. Okay, great. It, it popped into here. So that's awesome. Okay, so here's our image, right? Still like far yeah. from like our you know this kind of look here and I actually did end up making my own preset here so you can see that I added all the things but I want to show you guys how I get there so, Robbie Robbie says yeah. this is so cool you could even mask and brush some areas so the image yes. has some filtered parts y'all are low-key genius yeah. well <laughs> Paul Tranny well, is Paul Tranny <laughs> Paul Tranny really truly Paul is the genius <laughs> But it's like so cool. Then you can really kind of like layer. I don't know. I, I'm really, really into like the, the texture and the grit and all the yeah. like fun stuff. So like, you know, um, it just like adds for a fun like effect. And I totally agree. I didn't even think about that. But you can like brush it into like certain parts. Like just we didn't want to like it. mess with the background, but maybe just yeah. add a little bit down here. That yeah. would be amazing. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and just like edit this a little bit more. So I'm going to up the contrast here. Um, we'll do like a 20, 22, 22. Okay. Bring down the highlights to maybe like 50 or something. And then let's up the shadows plus 20, kind of just like looking at how it looks. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. And then bring down the whites as well. I always like doing like this combination, kind of like bringing down highlights and whites and then bring up the shadows. It kind of adds a little bit of that like HDR effect, but like yeah. not fully. Uh, okay, cool. And then we can kind of see like what we did just by turning this off too. Like look how good that looks already. That's insane. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. I love it. Cool. And then, okay, here's where the texture comes in. Like, look, are you kidding me? Like that's gorgeous so good I love it and he, maybe maybe it's not your thing it's fine you know you can pull <laughs> it back a little bit we're we're into it so I think we're gonna go all the way and then just like a little clarity clarity kind of adds that just like extra 
extraness as well, but in a different way. So I like to do just like a tiny bit on that one. But that feels good right there. That's awesome. Okay, cool. So, I mean, that's pretty much how we get to this image, you guys. I'm glad that we finished it, like in time. I think I might actually be able to do this GIF. Yes, uh, we have so about let's 15 do minutes. So Amazing. Let's, dive let's in. speed edit this then. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to Photoshop. Let's go ahead and remove these images. Bye-bye. We don't need you anymore. Um, let's go to our actual edited images. So we have here um, our shockwave image here so our original one and I, I know I have both images the post and the pre and the post so let's go ahead and open that cool. up and you'll kind of see like a little bit more of the like layer structure for when I edited both of them <laughs> together um yeah let's see if we can make this happen oh my gosh it'll be fun if we do yes okay. I'm excited to see it I haven't seen it like come together so yeah yeah and I think we can do it I think we can do it okay so here we have the pre-shock and then here we have the post shock. And then we are missing the kind of the hand here. So we're going to have to add that as well. But okay, so we've got that. So then let's see. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to duplicate this to be kind of like the in shock. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> and what I'm going to do is... Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and, okay, so if I open up this layer, I know that I already have that red glove hammer separated. So I'm going to duplicate that layer actually, because I need it to be in the in shock wave and actually also in the post shock wave. So uh, let's go ahead and close this up. Sometimes you have to like put everything away because otherwise you get confused. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's go into that post shock wave and we've got... We're going to put it over here in this. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn off that sharpen just for a quick second. And I think we have, let me see, what did it, what was it? Okay. 1.6. Great. Okay. So because I want to keep the hammer at that same position, right? I'm going to leave it in here. We definitely didn't add a dodge and burn to the red glove and hammer. So I'm going to have to like take care of that, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Yeah. So let's go ahead and just remove that sharpen or actually I'm going to keep it there, but I'm going to duplicate our image here. So if I do that, got to make sure all those layers that you have and the effects turned off at the top. Um, and then I'm going to grab everything. So I'm going to select it all copy merged and then paste. And that's going to be our sharpen layer. It's going to replace this one because I'm adding the, the hand and the hammer. Uh, so let's go ahead and convert that into a smart object. And then I think I should be able to just move that high pass into that one. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So now we have it on there. And now we're going to go over to linear light. And I think we had had it at like a 65%. So that looks good. And then let's go ahead and remove that because that looks crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now we have all of the elements for this last one. So that's kind of like, essentially we have it pre shock wave with the hammer. Then we're going to take care of the middle one. That's like hitting, hitting. Or very, or very close to the flower. Yeah. And then, and then back up and then everything's broken. So love it. Here we go. So I am going to turn that one off. Now let's go into this in shock wave. <laughs> so again, we're doing that same exact thing. So I'm actually going to go into this dodge and burn and I'm going to take a black because it's th this one does have dodge and dodging and burning yeah, on this yeah. exact um, hammer in hand. So I'm going to take my opacity to a hundred percent and it's at black because I'm going to remove what the work that I did there. So, and I'm on that layer mask of the dodging and the burning. So I'm just going to remove it because we're actually going to, we're going to move it. Okay. So then doing the same thing on the burn curve. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. So now we are set. So now we can move this around. So let's do... Um. Let's see. There we go. 
Perfect. Okay, good. So then actually we didn't even need this. Great. Love that. Delete. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay. So now what we can do is let's go ahead and just rotate. So I'm on that red glove hammer because we, that's right. We had uh, duplicated that pre-shock wave. So that's why that was there. Great. See, I'm, I'm so smart. I already know <laughs> things without even knowing them. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to rotate this and I want it to be a little bit more like, like this so that I can be really close to that flower right there. And actually I'm gonna even rotate it a little bit more. There we go. Like even just like a touch, like a little. Yes. Perfect. Okay, amazing. Okay, so then if that's the case, then it would look like, there you go, there you go. You, I love it. <laughs> amazing, okay. And then let me open that back up. Great. That's kind of in the spot where I want it to. Let me see if I need to go move it up just like a tiny bit. There we go. No, I think it needs to be like kind of like slightly touching. Maybe that there, there's our tension, <laughs> the tension that we always try not to do. Okay. But I think in this case, in this it's, case, it it's works a good tension. So perfect. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay, great. I have no idea what this clean 2.0 was for. So I'm just going to delete it because we don't need it right perfect. now. <laughs> and then um, now we need to sharpen our whole image, but with the new, like, you know, with everything how it is. So I'm going to keep that there. And I'm going to make sure that these are turned off as well. And as well, yeah, we got that turned off. Okay, great. So I'm going to, again, Command A, select it all, copy merge, and then paste it. And then let's see. Oh, and I did not want to do that. Hold on. I got to turn off that D and B. Okay. And then, great. Okay. Again, same thing. Paste it all. And that's going to be our sharpen. There we go. Okay, amazing. So now I'm going to convert that into a smart object and then I'm going to move over that high pass. Perfect. And then now we can get rid of that one and then change that over to linear light and 65%, I believe is where it was. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. That looks awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I'm going to do actually is I'm going to remove, there's a little bit of like some burning happening up here that I think was because of the previous. So I'm sure. going to just remove that because I don't want it in there. Okay. Or actually maybe it was part of it. Let me see. Oh yeah. That's fine. Actually. That's not bad. Okay. Plus it looks like it's realistic. There's some shadow in there. Yeah. Of the hand, so yeah. I think we're okay. Okay. So there we go. There we go. That's that's like the vibe. That's so fun. Okay, let me see. So now, yeah, that's so cute. Oh my gosh! And that's then so we just fun. brighten that up, and that looks super cute. Okay, yay! Perfect. Okay, so now again, we need to add all the like the edits from the other, um, from the image, right? So we have to make sure that we have all of that, all of that in Lightroom as well. So let's go ahead and save as, I'm gonna save these all as like a separate thing. Okay. So making shock waves one, or actually that's three because that's the last one. Okay, press okay. I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna save that one. Oh, I guess it has to, it has to save all separately. Oh my gosh. Huh? We have so little time. <laughs> so Hopefully many gifts, so little time. So many time. gifts, so little time. Um, cool. Okay. Well, at least we got it though. That looks good. Yes, for yeah, sure. We still have like... six minutes, five okay, and a half perfect. minutes. I think we got it. I think we got yeah. it. Um, Adobe just needs to stop lying to us about it being 99% <laughs> because it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's so good though okay cool and it's you guys this is so simple right like it's not you already have like the skeleton for like a gif if like mm -hmm. you have certain you know plates that work so this was like yeah. so awesome right we we took that hand out of a completely and just like moved it around like we just i know it's it. so cool yeah. so cute i love it and you can tell there is a difference, though, in, like, the dodging and burning, you see? Yes, like, for sure. But, that, you know, obviously that's for, for a future time. Yes, yes. Okay. 
Amazing. Hopefully we get to this. Let's do it. I know. Five I guess minutes. I could always um export these two like separately and then um upload them to Lightroom and add those edits too. Actually, mm -hmm. I could probably Or you could that. just show how you would put them in the timeline and make the gifts and always do that like the edits the you showed you already added, showed like, how to do them. So I feel exactly. like just showing how to do the GIF is perfect. perfect. And Good we'll idea. forgive you that they're not fully edited. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. Perfect. So essentially what you're going to want to do, and you can do this like in right in your file, or you can separate it if you feel like you want it to be on a separate file. Um, the GIF, I mean. So essentially you turn on timeline and you're going to create a frame animation. And so you've got your frame right here and then you're going to press the plus uh, like as an, a new frame, but then you're going to turn on your second frame, right? And so then you do the same thing again and then you're going to turn on your next frame. So that's kind of like the idea is that you want to like- You're building have them frame all. by you're frame. Building, you're building them all, yeah, by frame by frame. So now you can grab the entire, and actually I think I can, what I'll do is I will make this all 0.5 seconds and I did that by selecting all of them, by the way, so that they all would change. But yeah. then the other thing is that you can select all of them and then press the plus button again, and then it'll add it all, all three of the frames that you had selected again. So I can keep clicking, keep clicking. So it could keep happening over so and it over. It keep happening, yes. Yeah. Because could loop. obviously if you make just the three frames, yes, the GIF will play infinitely, like, but, you know, we all know that we usually have to export as a video for Instagram. That, yeah. So you want to make sure that it's at least like, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds so that you can actually, right. like, if you're going to post it on Instagram stories, then it actually play for 15 seconds Yeah. You know, versus yeah. just the three. And it's like, what even happened? Yeah. <laughs> so let's see if this is the right. Okay. That's maybe a little too fast. So <laughs> maybe we'll do like a <laughs> 0.7 or something. So if I go to, you can always press other mm -hmm. and then 0.7 and then you can press play again. Amazing. Cute. Cute. And sometimes what I'll do too is like, if I want it to linger at this last one, I'll always pick um, a higher time. So if mm -hmm. I want it to like stay a little bit longer, I can do 0.9 and then I would just uh, adjust all of the, the last ones in the in the gif there we go so like 0. 0.9 seconds 0. 0.9 and the last one perfect okay so now we've got our gif so let's go ahead and export it i'm gonna do a render video here hopefully it'll do it soon <laughs> <laughs> it's like what are you doing <laughs> Okay, I feel like 1080, I don't know if it's going to be that exact, uh, let me see, 1080, 1350, that's right. It's 4 by 5. Yes. Okay, 1080 by 1350, and making shockwaves, that's great, and it's at desktop, so that's perfect. So let's go ahead and render it, and okay. hopefully it'll just go. And we can see it. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's only one minute left, you guys. Oh, why are we always like... We're so... always down to the wire. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're always speed editing at the end. And you do you do great. You do great. Thank you. Thank you. We try. We try. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to happen for us, but you know what? It's okay. Um, If anything, we saw what it looked like, so it's all good. Yes, and it looked <laughs> so, so good for sure. But we will see. We will see. Well, definitely, I'm so excited to be sharing these, like, finals yes. once they're actually out in the world. I don't I don't actually know what the um, what the printing date is going to be. The printing date is going to be. I know. But Hopefully soon. Soon. Hopefully soon. Yeah, definitely follow us on Instagram. Weekend Creative is our handle so that you can see when we post all of the final images. And I have another behind the scenes video that we'll put together too that shows more than just the overhead view. So yeah. you can stay tuned for that. Amazing. That will definitely be available as well. And yeah, we're at time, but we saw it. You we know, saw we it. We saw it, you guys. <laughs> it's okay. I, you know what? I'll yeah. post it on our story so you can see it. And there we go. You're, you're all set. <laughs> so go check us out so you can see that. And make sure you stay tuned for more amazing Adobe Live content coming soon. And we will see yeah. you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out.
拜。Bye